Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Caroline, I'm a first year med student at Columbia Medical School, and I make vlogs about my life as a med student in New York City, as well as advice videos on how to get into medical school. It's been a couple of months since I posted my last vlog, and I've accumulated so many memories and clips since then that I can't wait to share with you guys in this and future videos. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're gonna start off with a visit to the Paris Theater, this is right across from the Plaza Hotel, actually, in New York City. And I got together with a group of around 20 first year med students to attend our Glass Onion Knives Out premiere. We got our tickets from One Iota, which is this platform where you can get free tickets to shows and premieres around the city. This is not sponsored. It's just been a great way to take advantage of all the art and culture here without having to spend too much money. But of course, in med school, we still gotta do some studying. So here we are in our anatomy clinical correlations classroom. This is where we get to play with these skull models and we actually do have some real skulls that we can use to study how the bone structures are. These are not real, these are made of plastic. Do you see the little ear holes? The ear holes, <laughs> your ear hole. Is this the occipital? Occipital. It's a good, it's a good. And they are just a really good way to visualize everything. Even though we do have anatomy lab, sometimes it takes physically manipulating them in space to actually understand how they fit together. The human body is so complex and it's incredible that we have such a thorough survey of it in one semester. One interesting point about the preclinical curriculum that we have at Columbia is that we do have dissections based anatomy labs. So that means that we go into the lab each week physically dissect the bodies, the cadavers ourselves, and then we learn from that process. Some schools have what's called prosections, which is where the bodies are dissected for you and you use the pre-dissected bodies to learn. At Columbia, we take anatomy lab in our first semester of med school. And our second semester of med school is a little bit different in terms of curriculum because we shift to an organ systems based block system. The Asian Pacific American Medical Student Association, or PAMSA, actually held a brief meeting where second years talked to us first years about how the curriculum changes and what to expect. If you guys are interested in learning more about that shift, feel free to comment down below and I'm happy to make a video on it. But for now, let's jump into some more fun in the city. There are so many comedy clubs in New York and one famous one is called Comedy Cellar. I've been here a couple of times before and this time I went with Delaney, Philip, and Maria on a sort of impromptu visit. A few days later, I went with Anthony to this really cute Japanese convenience store in Midtown. It's called Dainobu and there are a few of them distributed across the city. It felt like going back in time to my grandma's house because she would have so many of these snacks. Oh, look at the steam. Okay, we got, um, oh, it's really hot. We Careful. got one of the salmon rice ball thingies. So it's just, oh my God, it's really hot. It's just uh, seaweed, rice, and salmon inside. Ah, uh, be careful. Nice. Ooh. Look at that. Whoa. Not bad. <laughs> it was a really fun visit to Japan without having to leave the country or even the city. And now because it's around Thanksgiving time, our anatomy professor actually invited us to her home to celebrate Thanksgiving with her. It was super nice, especially for people who couldn't go home because they lived too far away or didn't have the opportunity to go back and visit. Dr. Burnt and her husband, Dr. Erdy, who is also an anatomy professor here, made such a delicious Thanksgiving dinner. Their family members also brought over potluck style foods and it was honestly the best turkey I'd ever, ever eaten in my life. So good. And in addition to the delicious meal, the interior decorations of the home were so beautiful. They were mostly anatomy based, which was so cool. There were these sagittal sections of the human body and little glass sculptures of the brain. And they also have the most amazing glass making studio in their home. And Dr. Byrne gave us a little tutorial on how she makes some of her glass pieces. You just... Oh, Whoa! That's cool. Mm -hmm. And then... There's these things called cut, cutting pliers. 
and you just put it th that the line is over the score, uh -huh. and you just do it. Oh. Wow! Oh. What? <laughs> yeah. So awesome. At the end of the night, we took the train back into the city. And because there weren't any Ubers or Lyfts or taxis available to bring us to the train station, our professors actually drove us there. And it's been the most amazing experience having professors who care so much for you and really just want to make you feel at home. So that's going to be it for today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. And make sure to leave a comment down below on what you'd like to see next, as well as subscribe and hit that like button. I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye. Mwah.